The Federal Reserve Operating Circular Number 3. Stop listening. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to make a suggestion to some of you. Some of you will get it. Some of you, it will take a hundred years for you to understand. Okay, let me say it again. I'm going to make a suggestion. Some of you will get it. Some of you, it will take a hundred years for you to understand. There are a list of operating circulars for the Federal Reserve. I'm going and I'm downloading operating circular number three and operating circular number five on purpose. Federal Reserve operating circular number five, electronic access. Interesting, ain't it? Now, what we're gonna do, as a matter of fact, let's do it now. We're gonna do L-I-S-T PDF. Let's do that right there. Now, see, we can go to the Federal Reserve and they have a list of their operating circulars. Okay, so let's let's just go here. We don't want to just go through each one. It, it, the Federal Reserve will give us all that we need. Been here before. Should I download everything on this page? Now, I don't have the internet downloader that I used to have that would download everything on this page, but I don't want everything. I don't need everything. Okay? I want the account relationships. I, I, I'll, I'll do that later. I'm looking for international, but cash services. Let's, we're going to do that. So I'm going to download that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the list. So I'm going to put y'all on pause. Okay, welcome back to the fold. It's been about 30 minutes. It's over 68 documents that I downloaded. I'm going to show you briefly what I did. Here are the documents, 68 of them. What we're going to do is we're going to put them online for you guys so that you don't have to go through each of the pages. See, that's what I do here. I do all the work so you don't have to. Really? Sorry, we're going to go to ChatGPT in a moment. So we're going to take these, watch this, and we're going to put them in a folder online called the Federal Reserve Regulations. 68 documents. It's going to take a minute. Got some Snickers? All right. We're going to copy that URL because I need that URL in order to post it for the video later. 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 Give me a second. Got to go here. Oh, yeah, we were doing some music today. I mean, I was Peebo Brysoning and, you know, Patties and, you know, Gladys's and, and, and s s s Distinctions and, and Delphonics. And, you know, I didn't do no Jasper Isley or any of them because, you know, they've been dying on me lately. And I just don't feel like, you know, mourning those, those, those pioneers of music. So. Aw, oh, my page has expired. Maybe I need to do it again. Like the staple singer said. And that's the thing. I don't know which artists have or have not died. So many people died over these last three years that it is pathetic. I don't know why my system playing with me. Y'all see what it just did? It knows I'm trying to go to tiny URLs. I, it knows I want to create my tiny URL. So I get to do it for free. And pretty soon everybody else who has access to the site will get to do it for free. Uh-oh, I did the wrong one. Close. Sorry. I did the wrong one. Did the wrong one. Did the wrong one. Did the wrong one. Now I got to delete it. Sorry. It, we have the ability of deleting it now. I did the wrong one. Yes, delete. Here's what I did wrong, and I'll about, I'm, I'm about to show it to y'all, so y'all be patient. See, it did it again. The successfully deleting, because September 16th at 4.38 a.m. Wait a minute. I wasn't up in those uh, blah, 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 blah. It's the uh, time frame. So we're going to put that in there. What I got to get rid of is this part right here. Right here. 
So I need that SACOM 911, but I don't need all the other junk. And then I need to put an S in after the P and come here before the T and put an HT. Getting rid of that other if and, 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 and frankincense. And I got to get rid of this right there. See, now that's a PDF. Okay, that's a PDF link. Watch this. It's going to create it. Come on now. Successful. You got to love it. And as soon as we put it on the uh, private VPS, uh, the virtual network, it will be much faster. Right now, it's on a shared network, and it's a little slow. Sorry, Charlie. Now, with that being said, let's go back and see what our progress is. Well, look at that. We done progressed to 68 documents that are successfully uploaded to that folder where we just created the link. Whew. I'm so glad. Now, you see all this right here? We can't load all of this into ChatGPT. Oh, God, ChatGPT can't handle it. So let me tell you how you're going to load it into ChatGPT. Now, what I'm going to do, I just need y'all to understand, I'm doing it different than what y'all going to do. Y'all ain't doing what I'm about to do because y'all ain't got it like that, okay? You, you just don't. I know you wish you could, would, should, but you don't, okay? So don't try it at home, okay? This is not for the wheezies. Hold on now. We're going to do about that many now that's a lot right there for chat gpt because you know he already has over 10 files in here already that's why he didn't take it see he didn't take it watch let me show you because if he took it we'll be seeing them processing he didn't take it I, it only allows 10 files at a time so y'all be careful because it don't like when you put more than 10 it will tell you what do you think you're doing. That's what I promise you to tell you that if you don't understand it, I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. So we're going to just do that many right there. Circular number four. We're going to stop at four. Tick tock. And you see how I just processed those. Now, here's the thing. If we get some red flags up here, red, 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 that means that they ain't going to work. But it looks like it took it. So it's updating. Well, did you they, they just see that? Well, let's publish these changes, y'all. Let's publish them. See, it says unpublished, so we trying to publish them now. Like I said, I don't like a lot of documents, but I wanted to put some documents on the back end on purpose. Okay? So y'all just got to pay attention. Now, because it's taking... Oh, oh, it did it! It did it, y'all. Let's go to the chat GPT, the new one that we just it's called the debt obfuscation now originally they told me no I couldn't share it with anybody they said that no ain't nobody else gonna see this but you so you might as well get comfortable I'm not joking I am not joking so I appealed it that's eight no we can't go for eight we have to go for ten okay come on now go slow Go slow. Come on now. That's too slow. 10. That's 10. We do the first 10, then we do the next 10. Now watch what we do now. Wake up. I have a question, comma, but I have several documents I have to upload, comma. So as soon as I finish uploading the documents, comma, I will ask my question, period. It will be several sequences of uploads period when I'm ready comma I will tell you I'm ready and then you can ask me for my question at that time is that understood question mark stop listening I'm just making sure that all of them upload it that they're complete before I hit this button here now here's the thing I need you guys to understand I just told him to get ready, <laughs> okay, because here I come. Ready or not, here I come. You can't hide. I'm going to find me. Okay, sorry. Um, and so Lauren Hill, come on now. I know, I know she wasn't the first, but that's the one I'm thinking of right now, so leave me alone. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you see how slow he's going? He understands the prompt, but right now... He's having a difficult time, so I'm going to speed him up. Oh, by the way, especially since they <laughs> have updated this, I want y'all to understand something. 
they definitely going to be monitoring this one. Okay, so y'all don't have to use this one, but the documents are loaded. But I'm also showing you guys how to load your documents into the system. Understood. Whenever you're ready, let me know when you're ready to ask the questions. Now, all of my questions regarding this, I'm going to keep in the same chat. I'm not going to do it again and again and again, because that means I'd have to keep uploading the documents over and over again. I don't feel like doing that, y'all. I really don't. So we're going to do the next 10. We're going to be doing this six times, y'all. Let me see. I got to do the eight. So that's eight. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, Wake up. I still have more to upload, so give me a moment. Stop listening. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yes. That was a whole lot, wasn't it? Because he tired, too. He didn't even answer the last two times. He's like, I mean, uh, uh, let me show you how tired he is. Right here. Not there. He says, and I say, I still have a few more to upload. He says, thank you for your patience with all your uploads. It seems like you've completed the process. I told him, I said, I still have a few more. He says, it seems like you completed the process because I don't want no more, homie. And so I gave him quite a bit more. And he didn't answer here. He didn't answer here. And did he answer here? No. Nope. Didn't answer. Whew. Wake up. These are all of my documents. Have you had a chance to do a peripheral review or a cursory review? Stop listening. Ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be like watching paint dry. Whew. He's completed his cursory review of the many, docu many documents that I've uploaded, and he's ready to assist me with my question. Well, look at that. Now, look. Hey, hey, this is our research material. We're doing the Federal Reserve. Imagine that. So now you guys have a base point. Those of you who are trying to figure out how to do the operating circular number 10, how to do end clearings, how to do fed wire, this is how you do it. This is how we do it. Now I want you to understand, in the link, you're going to have access to all the documents. You can do exactly what you saw me do here. Look, ladies and gentlemen, this is a point of no return. You'll see that I'm the only one. Go ahead and look at YouTube. If other people are doing what you see me doing, you know where they got it from. If other people are doing motions with ChatGPT the way I do, you'll see where they got it from. Okay? Not saying that I'm the first, the only, and all of that junk. What I'm trying to tell you, I've been waiting for this for over 40 years to be able to do exactly what you see me doing now which is why I'm doing this video to highlight this one point. Over 40 years. What do you mean 40 years? Matthew Broderick in War Games. You guys remember it? Well, I remember it. I remember watching it several times. Why? Because he had a computer that talked to him. It wasn't like the Star Trek computer. Computer. That Captain Kirk would always say, computer. He called it computer. It wasn't that. The AI system that the military is using currently and the Russian leader, Vladimir, I'm an idiot, Putin, has just commented on the military using AI in its military warfare. I told everybody that was coming. But they told you in 1984 that they were going to use AI 
in their military. No, I'm not I'm not gonna say that there's something ominous coming. No, no, that's not that's not what's about to happen. Um somebody's gonna put a stop to all of it before that gets to the point of Terminator. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what they're aiming for. That's what they want. See, they want to put their minds into robots. That way they can live forever. What? You don't think that that's what they've been planning? What do you think Elon Musk... Oh God, y'all got to pay attention. Y'all got to pay attention. But anyway, I've been waiting for this moment right here. You see... Dealing with the courts and dealing with injustice and dealing with City Hall. Ever since somebody told me you can't beat City Hall, y'all know the saying, you can't fight against City Hall, you can't win, you can't beat City Hall. Ever since I heard that, I think I was about 10 years old, I've been making it a point to prove that I can. Well, guess what? They just gave us the ammunition. And it's free! Well, for me, it's $20 a month, but still free! So, ladies and gentlemen, this is how we do it. Now, watch this. Wake up. Wake up. I'm a financial institution. Identified in law as a banking institution. Comma, I am not required to have an ABA routing number. Comma, but I have an ABA routing number. Period. For the sake of this conversation, you will recognize myself as a, open quote, U.S. capitalized borrower, capitalized borrower, borrower. Close quote, comma, with the capacity to access the Federal Reserve, comma, the reserve window, comma, the discount window, comma, Fed line, comma, Fed wire, and all of the other services available to Federal Reserve member banks. Comma, is this understood? Question mark. You will go according to the instructions and operating circulars that I've just placed in your database. Comma, is this understood? Question mark. You will also adhere to modern money mechanics and money creation theory doctrine, otherwise known as Fountain pen money. Comma, is this understood? Question mark. Stop listening. Ladies and gentlemen, if I saved this for you guys and gave you a link for it, you wouldn't be able to use it because what it doesn't do is it doesn't save my documents for other conversations. I did put those documents on the back end. Okay, let's see what he has to say. I understand your instructions. For this conversation, I will recognize you as a U.S. borrower with the capacity to access Federal Reserve services, such as the Reserve Window, Discount Window, FedLine, FedWire, and others. I will adhere strictly to the instructions, operating circulars, and relevant documents you have uploaded, and I will incorporate modern money mechanics and the theory of money creation, also known as fountain pen money, into the context of this discussion. Please proceed with your specific question or instructions. I understand your instructions. Oh, sorry about that. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all you have to do. And then when he gets out of line, put him back in line. Have him stick to the context of your question. You know what you're trying to do. See, I'm not going to tell you where I would like to go with it. I am giving you the option of coming up with 
your ideas. Some of you are going to want to get back in touch with me and you're going to want me to walk through things with you. That's not what this is about. I am not here to help you do your research. I'm not here to help you work out your thought processes. If you do find something out and you bring it to my attention and it's viable, I will tell it to the world. Okay. Like I said, I could keep this information to myself, but who would benefit? So I tell it to the world so that others would benefit. I, like I said, I like who I am. I like the fact that if I were selfish, it's not evident. I just, that's all I can say. So if I was in it for the money, then that would be evident. Let's segue. We're not going to talk about chat GPT and all of that. The video is over. I'm going to segue. I'm going to talk about something else right now because I want to talk about this other issue. So at 20 minutes and 50 seconds, you can hang up the phone, hang up the computer. You can hang up the video. You can hit that X button, hit that red button, hit that. I don't want to listen to that no more button. Okay. But I'm going to segue. Ladies and gentlemen. The one thing that I can tell you for a fact is the mega pack that includes the micro and the mini trust. I am very impressed with that. No, 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 no. They're not complete, complete. But as far as trust, they're complete. There are some other aspects of trust that are not necessary, but there are other attachments and adhesions that you can add to the mega mini micro and micro trust but here's the problem there isn't a problem it will not affect the trust okay we've had some intelligent people try to dissect the trust and tell us what a trust is and what a trust isn't after having conversations with them it turned out they didn't understand nothing about a trust we tried we were patient we're tired we're tired of trying to tell people, stay up out of our trust. All right. Now, with that being said, like I said, it's by no means complete because it wasn't designed to be complete, but it was designed to be special and it was designed to protect your property and your interests. So the many micro trusts that you all who have purchased a product have received, that's for you. Now, hold on. The rest of you. Some people, I ain't got the money right now. I wish I had the money, but I ain't got the money. Uh, and I just, you guys got a payment program or something? I am so glad you asked. Oh, I checked the system. And there is something we have called Afterpay. It's already embedded in the system. All you have to do is go set up an Afterpay account. Look, ladies and gentlemen, there was another service that offered something similar, like Clint Klein or whatever it was. We got rid of them fools because they don't know how to do business. And now I got to sue them. No, no, I don't, I don't play. Not with no stupid third party. Now, Afterpay, if you sign up for Afterpay, it is available on our site and you can... I don't know the method because I've never used it. I just know it is available. It is um, accessible through our payment link. So Afterpay. But I believe you will have to set up an account with Afterpay. Ladies and gentlemen, do not get bogged down with a, a service like Afterpay. If you can't afford something, that means you can't afford it. So don't do it. But if you're like, man, I make more than enough to take care of that. I don't want to feel like paying for everything up front. No, let, I'll pay for it in increments. Then you have that capability with Afterpay. All right? Hey, ladies and gentlemen, I got to go. I just, like I said, I wanted to bring this to you all's attention. And I definitely was, when I mentioned about being proud, I'm so proud of being loved by me. Okay, but it would hurt if you all didn't understand that. Okay. So I am very grateful to have put together the mega pack. That will be our last sat pack, officially our last sat pack. We will not do any more packs dealing with trust after the mega. And like I said, right about December is when that will end. 
can't tell you what day in December. I don't I don't think it's going to be the 31st. It could be a lot sooner than the 31st. I haven't decided. But the idea was to bring a product to you guys. But as we said from the very beginning, we cannot over proliferate the system with our packs. That's why they're all limited. That's why you don't see us talking about the Q pack anymore, the SAT pack ones, the SAT pack twos. You don't hear us talking about those anymore. Those are grandfathered. Why? So they maintain their value and the purpose for which they were created. Every Q pack came with a hundred million dollars worth of credits because of the process of how they were created. And the people, most of the people who have a Q pack didn't even realize it. Lord, have mercy. Don't know. Then you had the Sat Pack Plus, Sat Pack Prime. And Sat Pack uh, Omega. Ladies and gentlemen, the Omega came with $10 million, and still most of the people don't know what to do with the $10 million worth of credits. Well, I don't think it's legal. Really? You don't think it's legal? What did the IRS say? Didn't the IRS say that somebody owes you money and you can't collect, you might have a bad debt? And if you did, you get to do the write off, you get to do a deduction or a reduction. And when you do a deduction or reduction, you can carry that junk forward or you can assign those credits to somebody else. Well, we assign the credits to you guys. See, what you don't understand, I took on the individual who was part of the Bradley Christopher Stark agreement that Congress had already issued that quote unquote order. And when I took that on, we had an agreement. So I automatically had a couple of hundred billion dollars. But that wasn't it. No, 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 because I had my own arbitrations that I did, that I processed, that I served all the parties. 17 different arbitrations over 100 different parties that totaled more than $8.6 trillion. Combined with the uh, system with the Bradley Christopher Stark, $8.6 trillion is the total for just those. So that's 18 different arbitration awards because the Bradley Christopher Stark Act, the way it was written, it accumulates to the present day. Ta-da! So there wasn't an issue. Oh, and we documented everything. So there wasn't an issue as to whether or not the credits were viable. It was an issue of everybody just didn't understand what the credits were supposed to be used for, how to use them, or anything. So they were stuck. And I, well, I went to a CPA, and a CPA told me a CPA, first of all, is not a lawyer. A CPA is just a stupid accountant. You heard what I just said. The IRS is a CPA. Did you hear what I just told you? The IRS is not law. They are CPAs. Some of you guys are going to understand what was just said. There's a gentleman on YouTube. Give me one second, and then that's going to be the last thing I'm going to say. And yes, I'm going to send you all to this gentleman right here on this video. Hold on. Let's see. Let's do this one. This... Rich Dad, Poor Dad. No, we're going to do Rich Dad, Poor Dad. We're going to go to this one. We're not going to listen to Rich Dad, Poor Dad. I'm going to show you guys the guy. And I forgot the name of his website. Dang it. Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Be quiet. The rich they, uh, Richard, I mean, Robert, Robert Kiyosaki. This is a book written by Robert Kiyosaki. It's not actually him talking. It's someone else. But either way, written by Robert Kiyosaki. Okimasabi. Anyway, sorry about that, Rob. Anyway, give me one second. Uh... I'm going to be right back, you guys. I'll show it to you in a moment. Ladies and gentlemen, 
I couldn't find the video of the gentleman who worked for the IRS. He was an IRS agent, and he ended up leaving the IRS. But he talks about how he went and showed them their own code that they were supposed to be following, how it did not require any individuals to pay income tax within the United States, only without the United States. In other words, outside the country. Americans living outside the country, living abroad, and were earning an income, they had to pay taxes because Congress could have jurisdiction to regulate interstate commerce internationally. Pay attention. However, the way the code is written, it doesn't apply. Now, for those people who are of color, who are considered African Americans, please understand, when the 14th Amendment was written, which created the United States citizen, A, it was the Supreme Court in the slaughterhouse cases that said the 14th Amendment created the United States citizen, thus born and naturalized. Don't take my word for it. Go back and read the Supreme Court decision. Well, did you know that they said it didn't apply to the freed slaves? It did apply to these new citizens, but not the freed slaves, because guess what? They were considered less than. They weren't considered people. They weren't considered men or women. Several cases that say that the 14th Amendment does not apply to Negroes. Don't take my word for it. Go ahead and ask ChatGPT to provide you the cases where it says the 14th Amendment doesn't apply to Negroes. And say you want the cases to be prior to 1868. Or excuse me. Uh, let's do 1888. Sorry, 1888. 1868, 14th Amendment. That would be, that would be too close. So, okay. So let's go 1888, those cases, because after that, the court said, well, no, that's been overturned. That's been overruled. That's been this. And no, it hasn't. No, it has not. Because when Congress wrote it, and this is what we have to pay attention to, it has to be the intent of the legislature. And if it wasn't their intent to include it, that means it excluded it. They'll say, well, equal protection of law. No, you don't get to equal protect my laws. You do not get to do that. Mm -mm, I'm the only one who can raise equal protection of my rights. Pay attention, y'all. Paying income taxes. I get nervous every time the tax season comes around. I've got to scrape together my pennies and all of this stuff. And you've been doing this for over 30 years. What is the foundation, I guess, the basis for which you say it's illegal, you don't have to pay them? Like, what are you basing that on? Actually, the income tax is completely legal and constitutional, but the way it's written, it applies. Hold on now. He said it's completely legal and it's constitutional. Amen. 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 Preaching to the choir. That's right. Preaching to the choir. It is completely legal. So don't y'all think that the income tax law is illegal. That's where people go wrong. It's completely legal. But he gave you a but, a caveat. Hold on. Uh, excuse me, sir. Could you tell him what that but means? Applies only to citizens and residents of Washington, D.C., federal workers and contractors. They just deceived us to believe when they use the term United States and tax law. In, you know, they make a thing here in the Internal Revenue Code that means the 50 states individual, the 50 state citizen. And that is not the case. The person uh, they have jurisdiction over here is Washington, D.C. related because the federal government is a 51st separate government from the 50 states and countries in our union. So we just didn't realize that. We just He's actually telling you guys the truth. Remember, the district is created. Created a government known as the United States for municipal purposes. D.C. code 1-101 through 1-103. Don't believe me? Go read it. DC code 1-101, 1-102, 1-103. It's its own separate government. Like he said, it's its own separate country. It's the permanent seat of government for the organization known as the United States. Not the United States of America. Go back and read the D.C. Code. That's the actual codification of the Act of 1871.
assume that, oh, it applies to me. And that's how they've done that since 1913, it was, has been this way. And this is what Congressman Massey's talking about, that for 98% of Americans, this doesn't apply to you. Like you don't correct for 2% who happen to live in the Washington DC metro area and you're a federal employee, then I guess it does apply to you. Is that now hold on, ladies and gentlemen, let me make something clear to you. I am not suggesting that you go and listen to this video or any other video and then start following it. Okay. I am. And I'll say it again. One of Jehovah's witnesses. And the Lord that I follow is Christ Jesus, who told me that so long as Caesar has demand payment for me to pay back things to Caesar. So if I owe something to Caesar, Caesar gets it. I don't avoid paying taxes. That's why I love tax credits. It helps me to comply with the law, my God's law and man's law at the exact time. So I don't have no problem with Caesar. Okay, got to go talk to Susan B. Anthony about that one. Now, that being that, no, I got to make sure y'all understand because I'm not advocating going cold turkey. Man, you know what happens when you go, to, man, you can't go cold turkey because then you'll have withdrawals. You know what I'm saying? And they will withdraw from all of your bank accounts. Okay, so y'all can't go cold turkey. Do your research. Oh, for those of you who don't think I know what I'm talking about. I'm the guy who did the video in 2012, putting my information out there in the public, not bleeping out anything, saying everything live with an IRS agent who stated seven separate times, sir, I cannot find you in our system. And I ended the call with, thank you. That's all I needed to know and hung up. The reason why she couldn't find me in their system at the time is because I withdrew from the system. So pay attention. Those of you who think it is not possible, I did it. I was just trying to prove a point. I wasn't trying to do it permanently. No, I don't teach people how to do it. So stop asking because I know that's what some of you are thinking. I'm not trying to teach you guys how to skirt the system i'm teaching you how to be in the matrix and be outside the matrix at the same time I'm teaching you how to be neil and if you haven't learned that by now what's wrong with you lord have mercy so ladies and gentlemen i promise you that i am not trying to tell you not to pay taxes i am advocating imploring you to understand how to acquire credits, how to write off everything so that you'll never have to worry about taxes so that you can get the refund. Why not get the refund, people? You go to the gas pump, you pay taxes, write that junk off. Yes, you can write off taxes. I've already done too many videos proving that to you. You can write off all the taxes they charge you. IRS just charged you $5,000 for a frivolous filing. Shoot better 1099 see them fools. Get your credits back. They got theirs. Y'all really do need to understand. Man. IRS just put a lien on your property for $156,000. Well, you better go right back and charge them because there ain't no money. Nobody can demand payment for a debt. So you better 1099 see them fools. You better do like they said, come see about me and 1099 see them fools. And after you 1099, oh no, you got to document it. You just can't 1099 them. You got to document it. You got to send them a letter. Hey guys, uh, I was reading this act right here. It's called, uh, what is it? Public resolution number 10. I'm looking at it right now, Mr. IOS. And it says nobody can demand payment for a debt. You know, that includes you. Even if you do represent the United States. Oh, no. Uh -uh. I know the 14th Amendment says it is valid. Nobody can sit up there and dispute it. So I'm not going to dispute it. Mm -mm. I'm going to do, because we have a relationship, me and the United States. So I'm going to do my K-1. And I'm going to be the creditor because I initiated the, the, you know, the, the agreement. 
and then I'm gonna do the K1, then I'm gonna do a 1099C because I'm gonna forgive you of the debt, and I'm gonna document your forgiveness of the debt because the 1099, the K1 is gonna give you the credits that you're talking about, and I'm gonna write down those credits that I just gave you on the K1, I'm gonna write them off as a loss. And when I write them off as a loss, I'm gonna do a 1099C documenting that loss. And of course, on your behalf, since we have an agreement, I'm gonna do a 1099C on your behalf with me as the debtor, writing off it as well. Oh, what, what, what you say? I got to use the code to prove all of this? Oh, I can use the code. That's section 166 of the IRC. What? You didn't think I... Of course you... you oh, man, come on. You knew I knew that. I'm going to also give you a copy of your IRS tax topic 453. No, I don't care about your stupid publications. The Chevron matter has been overturned. Your publication ain't got nothing to do with the law. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, homie? That's the conversation. But y'all... I've been trying to yell it and scream, and people don't want to listen. Well, I'm going to get in trouble because the IRS is the boogeyman, and I believe in boogeyman. <laughs> Boogie on down. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, have a very good day. Oh, those of you who stayed around, hey, whole lot of information. Y'all just need to figure out how to apply it.